it's day number four still have tags to fill turkeys pigs they've been elusive and uh, I need a big doe deer so we'll see what happens hopefully things change Welcome back to the camp, everybody. I got skunked hunting this morning, but it's time for lunch. And we're not having skunk. We're having wild turkey, because I shot a wild turkey with my bow and arrow. Let's make wild turkey stir fry. Let's give it a try. We have the Blackstone 28 inch adventure ready griddle on high heat. All right, so Colin just hooked me up. Look at this, this is beautiful Central Texas Rio, right? Yep, Rio, Rio Grande. Grande turkey breast right there. Let's go ahead and we'll slice this down the middle length uh, across wise. What do you call that? Lateral. And we'll, we'll do a little butterfly action here so we can cube it up. Watch your hand, folks. Please don't cut yourself. You're using a knife here. We'll just slice this up into little strips and then I can cube it up into a little half inch, quarter inch, whatever you want. Um, square pieces, semi-square pieces of wild Texas turkey. I have my mixture of olive and canola oil again. You can use whatever kind of coconut oil you want to. The griddle doesn't care. Contrary to what you might see written on different vlogs or uh, Facebook groups online, I just always like to have a little glisten of oil. Wild turkey down on the griddle top. Blackstone's teriyaki seasoning. Perfect for turkey, perfect for chicken, perfect for salmon. And that turkey, that wild turkey looks amazing. Chop us up an onion here. When I do stir fry, um, you know, I like to keep uh, my shapes of onions different than I would with uh, with fajitas. If this was fajitas, I'd be doing like, you know, pretty little circular, circular slices. With these, I just kind of do a rough chop. And I think about like the onion slices that you get in a sweet and sour chicken dish when you go to get Chinese takeout. Something like that, nice big old, you know, half inch, three quarter inch piece of onion. A little more oil on the griddle top and then straight down with those gorgeous onions. Next we go with green bell pepper. You can use yellow, orange, red, whatever you want to use. To chop these up in like the size slices that you might see in a dish such as sweet and sour chicken. Just a nice big chunk of green bell pepper. Straight down into the onions. I forgot my garlic because I have to always forget something, right? A lot of people get really out of shape. When we talk about ingredients, I see all these people that comment on our videos that say, you had me until green pepper, I turned the video off, or I hate onion, I could never make that. If you don't like green pepper, if you don't like onion, if you don't like turkey, if you want to use chicken instead, just use it. You don't have to use the exact ingredients. As you can see, look at that, those onions are looking beautiful, green bell pepper looking perfect. We're going to go ahead and combine that with the turkey, and now... Without any further ado, introducing my old friend, the Udon noodles. You buy these in the Asian aisles in your favorite grocery store. Udon noodles are made out of wheat, uh, salt, and tapioca. I kind of break them apart when I pull them out, right? Just like that. And they are beautiful, beautiful. And they are perfect in any stir fry dish. A little more oil here. And now we're gonna incorporate all these ingredients of uh, these udon noodles are gonna soak up all the flavors, man. It's gonna have that teriyaki seasoning mixed with the oil. The green bell pepper is gonna emit some beautiful juices. And oh my goodness, if you had this plain like this, just with salt and pepper, it would be amazing. But we are gonna do a few other things to it today. Start to see those noodles turn from white to like a little yellow. We got little accents of brown in there. And they are getting what I call flavor infused. And introducing Blackstone's brand new sesame teriyaki sear and serve sauce. That's right, these are available at Walmart, baby. So as with any kind of sauce that has sugar in it, you wanna pour it on towards the end, just like that. Look at that, all gorgeous teriyaki sesame seed action. 
So we're gonna go ahead, you're gonna see that immediately start to caramelize. You don't want it to burn on the griddle, but we wanna incorporate those ingredients. Now you notice, I didn't even put salt or pepper in here yet. So at the end, I might dust it with salt lightly, but that's about it. Because I knew we had all these other flavors going today and I wanted to show off with that brand new sesame teriyaki. Now with these green bell peppers, see I'm not cooking them like you do with a fajita. I want a little bit of texture. I want some crunch left in there, a little bit of bite. So here we go, we're gonna dump them in there like so. I grabbed the sea salt from the van, so we'll go ahead and put a little bit of sea salt in there and we'll mix it up just to enhance those flavors. There we go. Take a look at that. And since we have all that yucky sugar on there, that sugary residue, you can even let it sit on there on high heat, and after 10 or 20 minutes, it will literally turn to ash, and you can scrape it off, or just put some water on there, and pretty much deglaze, deglaze your griddle top, and just go ahead, and you can use your scraper to direct all of that sugar, all of that yuckiness into your grease cup. Let's give it a try. Get some of that wild turkey, baby. I don't think anyone's ever done a wild turkey stir fry in a Blackstone, at least in a YouTube video. So we're breaking ground here today. Mmm. <sighs> that sesame teriyaki. Mmm. For That's sure. Good. Love it, love it, love it. Todd's back there playing. I'm just up here eating it all up. And if you think the sesame teriyaki is good, <gasps> Blackstone also has two other new sauces, Korean sweet fire and loaded Italian sear and serve. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be an exciting year. That was absolutely dishes. <laughs> that was absolutely dishes. That was absolutely dishes. Quite vicious, not malicious. Okay, that was absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed that. Tell you what, we are breaking ground here in Central Texas. Texans always do things bigger, and that's what we're doing today with this delicious stir fry. And get excited because Blackstone's brand new sear and serve sauces are coming your way real soon from Walmart. So we're at the end of our four day hunt and you can probably tell because of this little frown that I'm holding that we did not get wild hogs and we did not get turkey. So Colin, tell us a little bit about hunting versus killing. I mean, you didn't get a hog, you got a, you got a dough. Got a small dough. And I had turkey that yes. I had killed, and I had hog that yes. I had killed. Yes, so thanks to Colin's previous couple weeks, we got some good meat there. A full moon moved in, literally like right as I was coming to town, so the animals weren't out as much as they would be in the morning, so that was a bummer. Well, they, just, they were smart. They knew yeah. you were here. Adding insult to injury, what came to our stand like an hour <laughs> after we left? What was it? Yeah, an hour, an hour later this morning, uh, a big wild turkey came in with a big long beard, and then there was a nice buck as well, but an hour after we left. So I'm telling you what, if we were playing limbo, I would probably win because I couldn't get much lower than I'm doing right now. Uh, and that turkey said, you are not making Texas stir fry out of me, buddy. No turkeys, no hogs, but I have leftover pizza. There's nothing like cold leftover pizza when you've been skunked in the woods. So <laughs> until next time, everybody, this is Todd and Colin. We're saying praise the Lord and pass. The pizza. The cold pizza. <laughs>